Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to download mods for Train Sim World 2. It's not a very complicated process so don't worry about it too tough, we'll go over it in detail and as long as you follow all the instructions in this video you shouldn't have a problem at all. So first things first you want to search on your um, internet provider whether it be Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge um, TSW2 mods and that will take you to this page and you want to hit this second link you could go to the first one but then that will only redirect you to the second one anyway so we go to the second link and you have a range of different train simulators that you can um, download mods for but of course for the purpose of this video we want to navigate to train sim world 2 from here you have quite a few different options but for the purpose of this video, we will be going to patches. However, I will say for these top four, the process is all the same. Um, where you put the files, the way you download the files, it's all exactly the same. Only thing different is the utility section, which is um, which will contain programs that will actually control mods for you which would make life a bit easier though so this is more of a manual sort of way but regardless let's navigate to patches and here you're met with all different kinds of mods for train sim world 2 you have the names along with the pictures and you also have how many times they've been downloaded and their rating as well which i would take with a pinch of salt as it's quite rare that any mod is really rated on this website so you have a little um, icon here and you can filter or should I say you can sort by um, the names, the date that the mod was published, the last updated which is the one I kind of tend to go towards. Um, so let's go on this one and here we have the latest ones. So for the purpose however of this tutorial I'm going to navigate to name ascending and we're going to download the 1972 stock cab door enabler now what this does is actually before i go there to that page what this mod does is allow the front door and the 1972 stock to be opened if you try to open it with um on the on the game by default it will simply say that the door is locked and this mod simply allows you to un unlock the door basically now you would want to make sure as i am recording this video the latest version of train sim world 2 is running on the unreal engine 4.26 so if you're watching this video then that is the one you will want to navigate to any file which is which was made before 4.26 or created for a version before 4.26 won't show up in game and even though the game does open, you won't be able to have any fun with it. So ensure that you tick Rush Hour slash Epic Game Store UE4 4.26 and now you will only have mods which are supported by Unreal Engine 4.26. So everything here you will be able to run just fine as long as you have of course the relevant DLC. So let's go to 1972 Stock Cab Door Enabler and once you click on this page you'll see you have um, installation instructions and the DLC required and on the files you will have a link which will download the file for you so let's do that and you can see that the folder has begun its download now once you click that to open we're met here by two different files a readme text document and the pack file now the pack file is the one we're looking for where whatever um, mod you decide to download you always have a pack file and that is the one that we are looking to use so we're going to copy that and of course if you download a, a mod with multiple pack files then of course you know select all of them that are relevant to your needs now you want to navigate from here to your train sim world 2 folder so mine personally is under program files steam steam apps common and train sim world 2 this is what you want to look for now it should be also the same i'm not sure how it is on epic game store 
but as long as you navigate to the main train sim world 2 folder you should be okay so it should be all the same from this moment forward so you want to go through windows no editor and you want to click on ts2 prototype and then from there content and then dlc and here you have all the mods that you've have installed and also your dlc so what we're going to do here is paste our mod as you can see here ts2 ts2 prototype 1970 door dot pack and that's it you might want to give it a quick refresh just to be on the safe side and let's see how it shows up in game now we're back in game and we're going to make our way to london underground baker loo line and um we'll take a random timetable mode this is just to ensure that the train is working as intended let's go to a uh, let's do a depot move now all this mod does is allow the front door um, which i'll show you in a second to be unlocked if you have train same mode 2 and you've driven this line you'll know that by default this the front door doesn't um, actually open so let's step out of the seat and as you can see the door now opens and closes and that is evidence to you that the mod is working as intended so thank you very much any questions any um guidance that you would need please leave it in the comments and i will try my best to get back to you and i'd appreciate a like and subscribe for more content whether it be guides or train sim world 2 um, that will definitely be coming along so thank you very much once again have a great one